hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Aura Mystic here I have not posted a video for almost two weeks December 19th was my last day of abdomen class then after that I was off for three weeks oh my god it was much it was definitely much needed the reason why I haven't posted it was because I was in Europe for two weeks I went to London Salisbury Paris France and Rome Italy I had an amazing time. The architecture, the buildings, the history, the people, the food, amazing. And I would definitely go again. I absolutely fell in love with London. I'm currently working on my Europe vlog. I have so many videos. Mind you this, I was almost there for two weeks. So every day for those two weeks, I would make a video. It's gonna take me a little while to work on the Europe vlog. It's because I have so much things going on. I just started school on Monday. Oh. So I want to take my time creating this Europe vlog for you guys. I want to show you my experience. It definitely feels good to be back home. Right when I got back home from Europe, there were two things I was craving. A burger from In-N-Out and, and a bowl of pho. <laughs> I definitely had those and it was... So in today's vlog, I want to talk to you guys about my experience in abdomen class and in my OBGYN class so far. 12 weeks of abdomen class definitely kicked my butt. Two days of lecture and three days of lab every week. We had three lecture exam and one comprehensive final. And for lab days, we had four protocol exams. We learned how to scan the liver, gallbladder, pancreas, kidneys, spleen, and a little bit of thyroid. We didn't have much time to practice on the thyroid. I believe we only had two days to practice. And, and that's the reason why our thyroid exam didn't count as much. That was only 10% of our grade. I would say my favorite organ to scan, to survey, the pancreas and the kidney. That, that was really cool. My least favorite, <laughs> well, I thought it was tough, was the thyroid. I think it's just because we didn't have much time to practice scanning the thyroid. That's why it was hard for me. For abdomen class, we did have a workbook that goes along with a textbook. Every week we had a quiz. Every week we would have to turn in our homework, which it wasn't so bad. It was not hard. I really enjoyed learning the pathology for abdomen. Abdomen class was fun. A lot to learn. So many things you have to memorize. There was a lot of organs you have to learn in abdomen class. It was definitely a great experience. I learned a lot in the class. Ooh, that comprehensive final was extremely hard. There go pass! Time to celebrate! <laughs> I'm very happy that I passed my abdomen class. Now on to the next, which is OB. OBGYN, okay. I completed my first week of OBGYN class. I am absolutely enjoying my class so far. It's because of the professor. She is amazing. She, she is so amazing that she makes you remember everything she had said after our class is over her style of teaching definitely suits me she makes you stick everything in your head by the end of the day ob is just like abdomen it's a 12-week course so here's my heavy textbook for the class obstetrics and gynecology fourth edition it's a thick heavy book i'm going to learn a lot in this class here's this workbook that comes with the textbook each week i have to turn in a homework and every week we have a quiz. Just like abdomen, I believe we have three lecture exams and one comprehensive final. And for lab, it's the same thing for a protocol exam. My experience in lab for OP has been interesting so far. It's complicated to find someone to scan because your bladder has to be full for trans abdominal scanning. My first day of lab in OP was on Tuesday. We learned a lot about trans abdominal pelvic exam and transvaginal for trans abdominal pelvic scan you need a full bladder and this is tough this is complicated because you need to find someone who has a full bladder it was hard for some of my classmates to have a full bladder on tuesday wednesday and friday i made sure to drink lots of water and red bull <laughs> just so my classmates can practice their scanning on me. I remember being scanned back to back for an hour by two people. Whew, my bladder was so full. Even me lying on the bed, I learned from my classmates scanning me. I'm observing the TV monitor. I'm observing how she's scanning. That's also another way you learn, by observing others. Reasons for bladder filling, it pushes 
flatters superiorly, pushes lips about, out of view, provides acoustic window for uterus and adnexa. You have right and left adnexa, which are the areas of the fallopian tube and the ovaries. Provides anatomic reference point, provides for assessments of mass mobility, and provides for mass comparison. I did learn this last week in lecture. Now I'm going to show you some of my shots that I took. I did have to show my professor my shots so she can check them through if I'm doing everything correctly and if, and if there is something wrong with my picture, she will point it out and tell me how to fix it. So first off, right here, this is a shot of my uterus. This anechoic area right here is my full urinary bladder. As you can see, there's this bright echogenic line. Guess what that is? That bright echogenic line is my IUD, my birth control. It's so cool you can see that. So this whole thing right here is the uterus and then the fundus, you see the fundus, body, cervix, and the vaginal canal. And this is the first complete shot. This is in Sag view mid. In my next shot, you are going to see, it's another mid shot actually right here the second shot is actually the same shot as the first sag uterus mid width measurement so from here i measured from superior to inferior and a and p this is my second shot with measurement so this is my third shot i need a lot of practice on this one because for me it's difficult to find the endometrium Right here, I put an X in measurement on the bright echogenic line because I thought it was an endometrium. But when I showed my professor my picture, she marked me off because it's supposed to be right there. You're supposed to measure from echogenic line to echogenic line. And where she marked, you can see the area is mid-gray. Where she marked me from the black dot to the black dot, that, that's where you're supposed to measure. Sag pelvis R1 and Sag pelvis R2, the uterus gets smaller, Sag pelvis R3. And in this shot, you are going to see the ovaries. And with the ovaries, you have to turn on the color doppler. In this shot, you will see the iliac artery below the ovary. Right here is the ovary. One of the biggest indicators to find out how the ovary looks like on ultrasound is you can see the follicles inside the ovaries. You can see black anechoic circles, which are the follicles. The next shot is the Sag pelvis R4, R meaning right. You see a straight echogenic line. I have to turn on color Doppler for this shot to see the iliac vessels. I also had to do the left side as well, look for the left ovary. So these are all sad shots. I still have to learn it in transverse, which we will be learning next week. So those are my shots for ya. I don't think we can scan transvaginal. Any of my classmates listening, you guys can stick a transvaginal probe in me for learning purposes. I wanna be ready before externship starts. All my notes for lab for lab class. There you go. This was my first day of lab class. There's some drawings as you can see of my uterus. Beautiful, isn't it? This white notebook is for lecture classes. Oh, I wrote so many notes on the first day of class. I'm just going by so fast, guys. It's once I'm done with OP, I enter vascular class and after vascular, I start externship. Time is going by so fast. I'm really excited for where things are headed. I am enjoying my ultrasound program. It's amazing. I can't wait to be out in the field. All right guys, so enough about OB. My video is about to come to an end, unfortunately, but it's only been a week since I've been in OP. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys, oh my God, I'm doing a lot of hand movements right now. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my experience on abdomen and OB. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Happy New Year. Remember, you guys are amazing people. Stay optimistic. Stay happy. Stay smiling all the time. Never let anything get in your way. Overcome obstacles. Love yourself. Never doubt yourself. You guys can do anything. Put your mind to it and make your dreams come true.
work hard stay healthy don't ever let people bring you down don't let them say you can't do this because you can and more importantly live life to the fullest stay awesome sorry i was not finished with my video that was the last thing i had in mind i had to tell you guys those were my thoughts and i had to let it out for you guys